What's good, Internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome to WWE 2K22, my GM mode on the PS5. And this time in my GM, I have a special rule I am setting for myself to give my opponents an advantage. And that is the S rule. Therefore, I must only acquire superstars that have the letter S in their name. But we start with Shane McMahon. And Shane is going to run SmackDown. I will have Adam Pearce running Raw on normal 15 weeks with a custom draft pool. And yes, we manually draft. Let's begin. SmackDown needs their number one draft pick. And you can see Brock Lesnar. There's an S in the name. John Cena, there's no S. I pick Brock Lesnar. Raw is going to choose Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Now here's where the S comes into play, where I can't get John Cena, or Becky Lynch, or Bianca, or Edge, or Big E, but I can get Karrion Cross. Raw chooses Miss Mandy Rose, also an S I could have had and don't have now. So, going down, we can't get Rhea or Johnny, we can get Shayna Baszler, in our deal, and they're sorting it by popularity, so of course I'll take the submission magician, Shayna Baszler. Raw will choose Big E, Bobby Lashley. So the problem now is that if I look at who I have and what their classes were, that's going to be an issue, right? You need to have classes that can fight each other, and that's a deal. But I can get... Kofi Kingston, because he has an S in his name. So, our cruiser, Kofi Kingston. They choose Roderick Strong, and the list moves on. So, I've got Brock Cross, Shayna, Kofi. I need, I need another lady here if I can possibly get one to feud with Shayna. And what else? I can get Xavier Woods as a fighter. I can get Tommaso Ciampa as a specialist. Yes. I cannot get Carmella. Let's see. Randy Braun, Bailey, Montez, Angelo... Naomi, no. Logan Paul, no. Priest I can get. Uh, Nikki Omos. Actually, yes, I can get Nikki Cross. So, Nikki in here doing that dang thing. So, Raw chooses the Rated R Superstar. So, let's get one Tommaso Ciampa here in round six. And Raw chooses The Miz. Is it awesome? We're going to find out. It's amazing, though, that Raw has not chosen John Cena. I can't. Why isn't Raw choosing Mr. Hustle, Loyalty, and Respect? It's pretty good. Let us bring in Braun Strowman to fight Kofi Kingston, and then perhaps get a Xavier Woods to fight Brock Lesnar. I don't know. We're going to find out. Naomi goes to Raw. It is round eight in the draft. And I have some guys here, but I need better matchups. Let's bring in the Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest. That brings us down to a budget now of one mil as Raw gets Raquel Gonzalez. Do we do a round nine? I mean, look, at the bottom of the list here, can I find myself? Am I in here anywhere or am I not in this uh, deal? I don't see the attack slug. I see Rick Boogs. But I don't see the slug, which is going to be... Hmm. Yeah, all right. So, Ollie. And my last round draft pick will be Slapjack. And Raw goes with Rick Boogs. And there, with under one mil in the budget, we're going to end this draft and see what and or if Raw does whatever they do. Confirming. The deal. There is my SmackDown roster run by Shane McMahon. And Raw chooses Akira Tozawa. Raw chooses the modern-day Maharaja. And Raw chooses Trent Seven. And Raw chooses Indy Hartwell. And Raw's gonna have no money, but Raw goes with Saray. Man, I would've loved her. Uh, Raw grabs Kalisto. Raw grabs... Okay. Wow, Raw! You're going to have no money, Adam Pierce. What are you doing? You finish your draft. You got a lot of guys on your roster. Personally, I'm waiting for that first kind of, all right, let's go see who else is in the free agents after the draft. But Raw did 
what Raw does. They got like twice the roster I do and half the budget. Indianapolis, Indiana. Tonight is the night. Debut show. Bright lights. Big city. High hopes. I was born for this. Mr. H's, Mr. Brother-in-law. So, yes. Exit and continue to booking. Who is my bro? Brock Lesnar is my world champion. Come on now. Like, yeah. We know. But my ladies champion, would it be Shayna or Nikki? I'm going to give it to Shayna Baszler. So, I guess double heel champions? That's fine. Confirming. Selection. Enhancement talent added for week one. They are all on one week contracts, which is fine. Now, before I book the show, I obviously go over into the uh, journal. Triple H is waiting to see. I got my cards here. That I got my Coast to Coast, which is a interference bonus. And I have my six random superstars get plus six. I don't want to use that now, because if they randomly choose the jobbers to get plus six, that's going to be bad for what I'm doing. So let's check on the free agents. Who's in here? Machine Gun Kelly is in here. Gargano, Orton, Cedric, Breeze, Oni, Lynche, Natalia, Thatcher, and Devlin. So when you're looking at who has an S in their name, none of them do. Not a single person in the free agent has an S in their name. And of course there are the jobbers, but those are the jobbers. But over in the Legends, what do we have? One HBK, Shawn Michaels, and he has uh, two S's in that name. So I can bring in Sean for 10 weeks at 200K. Let's do that for old HB Shizzle. Now then, the main event, what are my SmackDown rivalries I need to have here? Obviously, Brock Lesnar, the champ, is going to have a rival in Damian Priest. So that goes with that for your main event of the evening. The mid-card, I will have uh, our ladies feud in Nikki versus Shayna Baszler. Do that. Elsewhere in the mid-card, tag team. Do we have enough guys to do a tag team feud? Let's actually hold off on that for the opening of the show. So let's, do, let's open with a tag team match. Holla holla. But otherwise, if we have Kofi Kingston versus Braun Strowman. So our Giants and our Cruiser doing that deal there. And can we open with a tag team deal? Um, can we have Sean and Champa? Well, they're heels. So the, the only face here is Sean. But if I had HBK and Tommaso and I had him turn face, and those two would be up against uh, Slapjack and Karrion Cross. That is potentially a tag team title match here. I've booked everybody. So what if I have the old charity promo from one Bobby Marquis? Because why not? So that meets the goal on the deal. And where did he even say what the goal was? So, oh, ensure that he cuts a promo. Well, there we go. I didn't even see that before. I was looking at that side of the screen. So that's on me. Now then... Uh, what a weird opening SmackDown. My show logistics. I don't have anything else available. We're all in that gym on week one. It is what it is. And so we have no other superstars to actually put into spots here to book for promos. We open with a tag team match. We got our Cruiser versus our Giant. We have our Ladies. And then we have our Brock Lesnar, Damian Priest main event rivalry. Those big meaty men slapping meat. Confirm the booking, and we'll see what Raw has to say in response to this. Simulates that tag team match. Player Cross and Slapjack get the win. Two stars, a new rivalry. Bobby cutting that promo. It's weak. He's a jobber. Whatever. Thanks, Trips. Midcard, Kofi and Braun. One, two, a three. It is the monster among men with that victory. Two stars, new rivalry. Mid-card, Nikki and Shayna simulate. It is the submission magician with that win. Three stars and a new rivalry. And this one I'm going to actually play as Damian Priest. It does not particularly matter to me who wins this matchup. 
but I am out of practice in this game, so I could use some more reps here and attempt to play, and I think it's still on Legend. I'm not 100% sure on that, but hey. The champ in the gym still has his pyro. Brock Lesnar is here and ready to work a non-title matchup against Damian Priest in some random high school. And his opponent, the Archer of Infamy, ready to take on this beast. Lighting up. There we go. Shooting that arrow. What do we got? Into the scoreboard behind him, because there was no Titantron behind him, so yeah. All right, here we go. Big fight feel in podunk middle of nowhere. Let's go, Brocky. And yes, if Brock wins, that's cool. Like, I'm just sitting here wanting to play for a bit, besides just doing the booking and whatnot. So there is that suplex machine, Brock Lesnar. Uh, I'm seeing no prompts here for reversals, which is a problem for ya boy. Are they off? Like, what's going on here? Superstar HUD is on, so all the prompts are on, and I said play as Priest, and I'm pretty sure I'm playing as Priest, so where are my squares and triangles as Brock just lays it in thick as Brock tends to do? Th there it is. All right. I just didn't see it before. Oh, missed the clothesline. Brock Lesnar. Oh, the backbreaker. The multiple and then toss him aside like a sack of potatoes. Boy. Okay. Look, Brock, I've not played in a while. This is on Legend, so Brock is going to do Brock things. Aha! Take that, Lesnar, into the corner. Here we go. Right out with that drop. Love to see it. I wanted to do a taunt, but okay. That was not the idea, but okay. I forgot how to play, but okay. Here we go. Is it? Is it? Nice. The neck breaker. And then uncharacteristic of the big man is going to fly with that elbow drop right to the heart of the beast. Referee, what are you doing? One count. We'll take it. It's fine. Pick him up and continue on with my beard. Oh, no business today. No business today at, at all. Brock, just the double leg takedown. All right, look, that amateur background of Brock Lesnar is obviously a big deal. But Damian Priest has signature. Can he pull it off on the beast? He's got him up. Down. Pinfall. One, two, and a two count. Priest is shocked. He is absolutely shook with Lesnar lurking. But finisher. Finisher! There it is. Now we drag. I've forgotten how to drag, so we pin. Is that a rope break? No. One, two, and a two count. All right. This is where the rubber meets the road, as they say, because Brock Lesnar is going to Brock Lesnar any time he so desires. And there it is with that back body drop. Brock, the strength, the power, the slam. What, rope break for me. Those long legs paying off for once. Oh, and stomping the elbow. Just absolute brutality from Brock Lesnar. Priest, though, still has some juice to spare. Can Priest get it done as Brock is going to brockle? Nope. Sorry, bro sorry, Brock. Sorry. That ain't how this is planned to go today. What do we got? Brock has Sig. We don't want it. We don't need it. And we ain't going to get it. Oh. Oh. It, perhaps not. Perhaps not. Brock whiffed it. Priest whiffed it. Okay. Just a straight punch from Brock Lesnar to any man. I don't care who you are. That's a problem. That's an absolute problem. Nah. Dragon screw leg whip Tanahashi style again. Brock gonna make me stunned and then I might be done. Aha! Brock wasted it. He wasted it. The reversal on that which means it's time 
It's time! Times two! And is that enough to put away the beast in the first main event of this 15-week run? It is winner Damian Priest. Well, 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 Brock. Your challenger has called his shot. And he wants that universal title. Two and a half stars. It was okay. Which means I should have booked the ladies in that main event. Okay, Monday Night Raw. So, Roderick Strong, Big E with a Jinder Mahal run in three stars. Trent Seven, promo. Excellent. Edge vs. Wolf. Specialist vs. Specialist. And we get Edge winning. And it is a one and a half star disappointing. Come on, had the classes that fight don't have two in the same class. Moron. Kalisto cutting up good Lucha Things promo. And it was weak as it would be. Mid card, Naomi, Raquel, Cruiser versus Giant. I think three stars on that. Naomi feels the glow. Oh, one and a half. What happened there? All right. Indy Hartwell cuts a promo. Good 5K fans. And Ronda Rousey, Mandy Rose is your main event fighter and a bruiser. And Piper's Pit puts away Miss Mandy. Three and a half stars for that women's title. So, what was the deal? SmackDown got a poor finale. So it is two and two. I lost to Raw in the opener and the closer. I beat Raw in the two matches in the mid-card, and Raw gets good booking because they booked two title matches, I guess. So, continue, and we'll see. 86, 81K, and Raw did multiple charity promos, so we're going to assume they got a lot more fans than I did on that. 81,000 fans, and uh, confirm, and continue. And Raw did 80... Oh, only 86. I'm kind of shocked they did charity promos and still came very close to uh, what my rating was for the evening. So that's interesting. Anyhow, let's continue here and see where we're at here. We're only apart by like 4,000 fans. So neck and neck, but I have way more budget than Mr. Adam Pierce does. But I have my restrictions on who I can hire on this broadcast. Anyhow, Montreal, Quebec. Hey Shane, I plan on taking Raw to the top. The cream of the crop, yeah. Yeah, thanks. Whatever, Adam Pierce. Relax. Uh, I have a budget and you have Ronda Rousey, who traditionally does not work great matches. Adam Pierce, look it up. So, I'm a tax slug. I'll see you next time right here for more videos and I'm out.